Hello and welcome to Templecraft. My name is Professor Adam and I'm here to give you a tour and to show you around this unique Minecraft project. So Templecraft was commissioned by Artichoke and The Space in collaboration with Culture Tech. So Templecraft is an innovative digital arts project inspired by monumental real world construction. So using Minecraft, uh, myself, Blockworks and Sparks uh, have built a digital reconstruction of David Best's temple. And, and you can see a little bit more about David Best's temple and more information about that project if you visit the links below in the description. David Best's temple is in Derry in Ireland and it is an amazing structure, uh, kind of made of all the different bits of wood all cut out uh, and people can go and visit it. And they can visit it uh, for a few days until Saturday, this coming Saturday. And then the whole thing is going to be burnt down. Uh, and when you go and visit it, you're actually invited to leave something behind, uh, maybe a memory, a photograph, uh, you know, something that is meaningful to you. So the same thing is going to happen here. Minecraft players are also invited to explore this structure online. So you don't have to be in Derry, you don't have to be kind of uh, local to the area, you don't have to be in Ireland. But if you want to, you can come visit this structure. It's online and this will be online uh, for a couple of weeks. But we will be also burning this structure down. So you're invited to leave your own messages, mementos or objects inside the walls uh, before it's this thing also is ceremoniously burnt down on Saturday the 21st of March. So nothing will be left behind. So this is a fantastic opportunity for the worldwide Minecraft community to experience and participate in a major temporary artwork. So let me just, I'm going to just take you around and show you a little bit more about this project, uh, what, what you might find inside of it. So when you first spawn in, uh, you're spawning in over here and there's a path towards the temple. Uh, we've made it so you can't actually get out, okay, so uh, you can't go and explore the world too much. Uh, we're really kind of focusing you in on the temple and what you can do here. So there's some holographic signs uh, on your way into the temple. It says Temple Craft is an opportunity for a worldwide market community, just what I've said. So, and this is the important thing. So it says, please enjoy a moment of reflection in the space. And then think about what you'd like to leave inside. So everyone is invited to write messages in books, rename items, or simply leave Minecraft mementos inside the frames within the temple. So it, it could be a message to yourself, or it could be someone who's no longer around, or an object that means something to you. Everything will be set alight in a special ceremony on Saturday the 21st of March, and that's what my friend Sparks is, is designing. He's designing the mechanic that's going to burn this thing down. So this is your chance to leave the past behind and celebrate your passions and look to the future. So this really has never been done in Minecraft before. This kind of looking at kind of contemporary art uh, that's actually being built and burnt down uh, and there's a massive public uh, participation. So everybody in, in Derry and a kind of who, who, people have come over from all over the world in fact to come and have a look at this project. And you might have seen it in the news as well. So they've come along uh, and they're going to be visiting the real, uh, the real temple on the hill uh, in Derry and they can bring photographs and other bits and pieces. So in here, you can type in uh, forward slash kit temple, temple kit like this, and you'll receive uh, a book and a torch uh, and some item frames as well. It says up here, there are chests up ahead that contain a variety of Minecraft items which you can name in nearby anvils, as well as books you can write in. You can leave these items in the item frames throughout the temple. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. You can also just explore the temple, and the temple was built by um, Blockworks uh, Minecraft, uh, and they've done an incredible, incredible job. It is a stunning piece of work. Uh, and again, this is going to be uh, here just for today, uh, until Saturday, and on Saturday we're going to burn the whole thing down with all the stuff inside it. So it's, a, it's, it's symbolic, it's meaningful. Um, so anyway, so these are the chests areas over here. So you can kind of have a look in a chest and we, we've got them automatically filling up. We've got a variety of different things and these things may change over time. Uh, but let me take some, uh, let me take this oak sapling. And uh, what you are going to need to do is to make sure you've got enough XP to use the anvils. So we've got these little XP buttons here. So you can click them and that will give you some XP. I'm in uh, creative mode at the moment. So let's just go into 
came in at zero. Uh, so yeah, you can click this and you'll be given, you can see my XP going up like that. Okay, so you can have your XP. I'll eat some bread as well. It's just breakfast. And then you can go over to an anvil and we can kind of name the anvil. So I'm going to name the anvil Kinross. Okay. Uh, because it's an oak sapling. Kinross uh, was, uh, it, it has, has meaning for me. Uh, and so I'm going to place that that in this in this in this thing here in this item frame, and there we go. So I've made I've made I put my oak sapling with the word Kinross, which has meaning for me, and I placed it in an item frame as well. So there's some other bits and pieces that are starting to fill up. So um, what's this over here? My own truth, my old bones. Um, anything else? Anything else? You can also, if you want, uh, you can rename a cake. Okay, but cakes and other kind of items like uh, the blocks, they won't fit into item frames. We've made it so you you, you can't, you know, you, you can't break this temple. Okay, uh, and there's certain things that you can't place in the in the item frames too. So we've kind of tried to protect this place uh, and to keep it uh, safe for everybody to use. So we want people to be respectful in this place as well. So uh, you know, please be respectful. Don't don't say anything controversial or or offensive to anybody, try and keep these things personal and almost sacred to yourself, okay? So you want that kind of vibe. It's, it's non-religious, it's non-denominational, uh, we're trying to make it so it's personal and meaningful. Um, uh, that's Adam's apple. So you can rename cake uh, and you can also write in books. So let's grab a book and um, you can write, if you right click on a book, uh, you can, you know, you can write things in it. So um, uh, what shall I say? Um, I'll, I'll say hello world. That's be from the computer. Hello world. Okay, you, you could write a poem. You could write all sorts of different things, uh, and, and and be as creative uh, and as meaningful as you want. You might want to. You might even want to write a message to somebody who's no longer around too. Once you've written your book, you can sign it. Uh, we'll, we'll just do to my computer. Okay, so this is just an example. Sign and close. And there you go, you've got that book. Now, you, you could put the book in the item frame, or you could put it in the chests over here, as well as other items that can't fit inside the, um, inside the item frames. So, for example, cake won't fit in, uh, bookshelves won't fit in, uh, and blocks won't fit in, but in books as well. So I'm going to take these things out. So there you go, to my computer. Okay, hello world. <coughs> So I hope that makes sense. I hope people come and enjoy it. There's a little sign here as well. It says, you know, if you wish to share your stories with others, leave your books in the chest up ahead. You can leave your books and also the other kind of bits and pieces that you can't fit into. Uh, you can't fit into the um, into the iron frames over here. So do come along. Do have a look at it. It's we've we've got a pretty large server. It's a 500 capacity server. Uh, we hope that will be enough. Um, and enjoy it and you know share it with your if you've got students or if you've got family uh, and they play minecraft as well brilliant bring them along show them this stuff it's an amazing build it's an amazing project as well so do go and have a look at the real project as well uh, and uh, you can find all the links for this project in the description below so do check them out i'll be sharing all this stuff and i'll be also making some other videos about it too as we go on uh, later today i'm going to be going to a school local in derry so i'm actually here in ireland right now uh, i'm going to be going to a local school and we're going to be remaking derry uh, we're going to be remaking sorry not derry we're going to be remaking the temple uh, in in derry uh, london derry so we've actually got a Minecraft EDU version of this world and version of this uh, this temple, uh, and the kids can use that as an inspiration uh, and also kind of think about and reflect on uh, what the artist is doing. That's David Best, uh, and why he's doing it, and w w what this all has, you know, whether this has uh, any meaning for them. So it is a contemporary artwork. Uh, it's it kind of there's more information about it in the website below. So do have to check that out, and do come back to the channel because I'll be making a few more videos like this too. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope it's made sense. Leave any comments or uh, ideas in the, in the comments below and I'll be back uh, very shortly with some more videos and more, even more, 101 ideas for Minecraft learners. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm just gonna fly up now and show you the kind of the rest of the, the build, so from above, look at it, it is just incredible. Um, 
and I hope you have a great day and I look forward to some maybe perhaps even meeting you in this build later on this week. Uh, I will be here on the Saturday uh, during, during the burn uh, and I'll give you times for that because I think we're actually going to be doing it either simultaneously or a little bit before uh, the actual um, temple is being burnt in Derry. So until then, thank you and goodbye.